Okay, what we're doing today is we're taking some AA Energizer lithium batteries. This is lithium, uh, not lithium ion. Lithium ion are the rechargeable. You don't want that. You want the lithium battery. Uh, lithium battery has carbon for the uh, one of the electrodes separated by plastic and the uh, thin sheet of uh, lithium. So we're going to take this lithium, cut the ends off with a pi uh, tube cutter, and wrap it around a, a metal rod and shove it in the water. Uh, so it's going to take and convert into lithium hydroxide. And lithium hydroxide is what we're going to be electrolyzing uh, and trying to turn into lithium-6, weaker form of that, uh, and it's used at the uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. Now the lithium is lighter than metal, so if you put lithium in water, uh, it's going to violently react and it could get enough oxygen to start on fire, so we need to put a wrap around a rock or a rod or something and throw it in the water so it stays submerged. So when it's converting into lithium uh, hydroxide, uh, the air or the oxygen intake will be reduced. Because once you get a lithium fire going, uh, it's very very hard to put this stuff out. You can't just put it out with water. So you got to be very careful with this stuff. We're also using uh, blue nitrate gloves to uh, do the work. Okay, we have one of them out right now, and we are, like I say, we're going to put a uh, little tube cutter, cut the uh, lithium. Here's the, the rod we're going to use to wrap around the lithium so it'll stay submerged in the water. You be careful with these batteries because if you short them out, they, uh, they get real nasty. I guess if you, you could probably push too hard in this tubing cutter and shove those elements into each other, the carbon and the lithium, you probably could start a fire that way. So you want to be careful with how you cut it. You turn them back and forth, the ones that just keep threading. back and forth and put a little more tension. And lithium oxide or lithium will Oxidize very quick in the air, so you want to have your water, everything standing by. So you want to do this work really fast. Looks like it's coming apart here now. You also want to have safety glasses on. There we go. Now what happened was the the metal got crunched in. Yeah, see right here. So it's hard to get the stuff out when that because of that tubing cutter. If you cut it too fast, you have that kind of problem. So the next thing is getting it out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the other end off also. So maybe we can push it out. So if we can't pull it out. So the key is going you know, slow, so it cuts it without crushing that end in, and makes it hard to get the material out of there. So you want to take your time.
Okay. Take the other end came off now. So now we're going to try to push this stuff through here. And we're going to use a pin and not something metallic, so it won't cause any shorting out here. Like I say, this stuff, if it makes contact with each other, you're going to get a, a fire here, so I mean, it's already feeling a little warm. So you can see carbon, little black stuff here. And let's see if we can get that. Here's the lithium here itself. This is the stuff we want. It's already turning kind of a dark color, so we're going to throw the other stuff on the floor. We're going to take this lithium, turn it into a ball, and we're going to put it on here so so we can put it in the water. And here we go. Very violent reaction. We're also getting hydrogen gas coming out of here. Whew. Take this stuff outside here. The other thing, you got hydrogen gas that's being produced, so you don't want to have this around flame or anything else. It's basically all gone. All you have is that little piece right there. And we're going to do two, two of these. So this is the first one, and we're going to do one more battery. So there you have it.